I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to stop worrying. What is it that you're dealing with right now? Are you allowing that thing to consume you? Are you worrying and overthinking? Are you worrying about stuff that you can't control? I want to read you a scripture. I'm in Philippians chapter 4, uh, verses uh, 6 through 7. This is what it reads. It says, do not be anxious about anything. <laughs> like, like, don't be anxious about nothing. Because, see, it ain't worth your time, your energy, or your effort. Don't be anxious about anything. But in every situation, there we go. By prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. In other words... God is basically saying, I have an open door of communication. You can talk to me about everything, your requests, how you feel, like pray about everything. Don't be anxious about it. No, pray about it. But here's my favorite part right here, though, verse 7. You ready for it? <laughs> and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds oh man that's so powerful if it, the heart and the mind so you ain't got nothing to worry about it will guard your heart and your minds in christ jesus but what that mean though demarcus he's saying don't be anxious right don't be anxious talk to god about your situation and see when you give him an explanation of how you feel. It says, and then, if you feel me, it says, and the peace of God. So in other words, you give God your situation. You give God what worries you. And in exchange for that, he gives you his peace. But not just any kind of peace. Watch this. He says he gives you the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. And it's going to guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. So you got God's peace standing and guarding your heart and your mind. In other words, telling the enemy that's done with. Ain't no more worry going to penetrate this person because they standing on my word and I'm faithful to my word and I'm guarding his heart and his mind. I'm guarding DeMarcus' mind. DeMarcus going to have a good day. <laughs> it's, it, it's guarding it. If, if someone invited you to their home and let's say they got a $100 million home, right? And they got a guard out in front of their gate and they don't let nobody through the gate to visit this person unless you got a certain kind of, you know, security code that allow you through the gate. That guard, he on his post, he ain't let nobody through who ain't supposed to be through there. And I want you to understand something today. God is guarding your heart and your mind. And he ain't letting no enemy through. God is blocking any and everything that is not of him. So you have nothing to be worried about. Because you standing on the word. Now I need you to accept this peace. He says he's giving you the peace. So you accept the peace. No more worrying. No more overthinking. You let God fight your battles. Everything going to be alright. You good? You good? Man, you going to be alright. Don't, don't overthink it. You're going to be all right. You just wake up today and put your best foot forward and do the best you can. And God going to do the rest. Don't worry about the little stuff because it's all little stuff. In the eyes of God. Because there's no problem. It's too big for God. God's not nervous and biting his fingernails over your situation. No, God knows what he's doing. He can open doors no man can shut. He can shut doors that no man can open. He used Moses to part the Red Sea. So surely he can part that situation in your life and step in and cause a shift in that situation. No weapon formed against you will prosper. God is on your side and you're going to be all right. Choose peace today. Just like when you walk through a grocery store and you go on aisle number three with your buggy, what you choose? You choose, oh, peanut butter. Up oh, bread, honey, you know, you make all these choices. You know, you feel me? You choose what you want to put in your basket. All I'm asking you today is why you 
rolling down the aisle with your buggy, choose peace. Say, look, peace, I, I want that. You feel me? I, I want that. I don't know about you, but that's the only thing I'm putting in my basket today. I don't want nothing else in my basket. Mentally, I'm free today with the peace of God. Because he said he gave it to me in this word. So I'm going to take that and run with it. I'm in the checkout line. I don't need to go down no other aisles. I'm free by the word of God. And you free too. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit the like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I accept the peace of God. Because that's right. If somebody handing you something. You got to stick your hand out and accept it. You got me? Accept it. Say, Lord, I accept your peace. Thank you. <laughs> you feel me? Say, thank you. you. You better start thanking God for what he's given you. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.